My name is Andy. I am the painting conservator for Jameson and Thompson. And about four or five years ago, I got started at a small firm that did painting conservation. And I started as a tech and then moved on a few years later, worked for Jameson and Thompson for a few years and just keep rolling. There's typically an obvious reason that it's in. It's either cleaning or there's a tear in it. So yeah, I first look at it to see the extent of the issues that it has and then basically evaluate how long each different part will take and most typically it's either just a cleaning or and or uh, repairs so um, it's pretty basic as far as figuring out what an old painting needs because they're all very similar it's, as far as like stretched canvas uh, the pigments are typically very similar and the varnishes that they use was like in a small range too. So um, kind of like a streamlined process of figuring out how long a painting is going to take and what it needs. If a painting needs retouch, we typically do a uh, isolating coat of varnish which protects the original paint and pigment from any um, retouch that I do, which is very, it's try to be as non-invasive as possible and the strokes are really just tiny dots that just help blend and get rid of any uh, losses or imperfections that were in the original painting that are still showing. So it's easy to remove anything that either uh, the pigments didn't look right or when you varnish it you're like oh that's, that's slightly too yellow compared to it. So it's very easy to remove any retouch that is done and that's like any conservator should have that kind of mindset where all of their work should be able to be reversible in some form or another. Um, that goes for linings and cleanings and retouch and all of that. So we try to make whoever has to work on it next easier to do the work. And that's been like a relatively newer concept to actually preserve these pieces in a, in a safe way, in a way that can, like, can be fixed in a, a safe way. No, it's just very satisfying work and I, I feel like people don't always see the, the, the dirtiness in old paintings and they just kind of accept it for what it is, but really there's so much more life in the painting underneath that you can really salvage and I just wish everybody knew that they could see the life in like very old torn paintings can be like like you painted yesterday. I think it's just like that full turnaround of looking at those before photos and seeing like how much damage the painting had and how dingy. Then afterwards seeing like that feeling like, oh, it's like like new and you notice things that you didn't notice before and people are like, oh, there's there were sheep there. Like I didn't see that, that kind of stuff. It's like kind of what excites me and bringing out those colors that originally were there is like definitely what gets me uh, going. Thank you.